I'm a regional director of dining services for Senior Lifestyle. In my current role, I am responsible for providing dining support uh, for new development communities throughout the country, which include kitchen design, uh, menu development uh, and implementation, uh, staff recruiting for managers and the line staff, and then providing training. Hi, my name is Doris Jean Baptiste, uh, Director of Dining Services for Tamaris uh, North Shore. All right. Well, I want to thank you, gentlemen, for joining us today. So I'll kind of get right to it. Eric, tell us, how will you respond to the changes in the post-COVID-19 environment? Well, with our company, what we've done from a new development standpoint is we've decided to implement new designs and protocols that will help keep our residents safe. Any doors that are coming in or leaving out of common spaces uh, are all going to be no touch. OK, uh, for example, in your bathrooms. Next, we have upgraded our HVAC systems. Uh, so we've done some new filtration and provided new filtration systems similar, very similar to what you have in airplanes at this point uh, throughout our all of our buildings. And then we have decided to redesign how we use our outdoor spaces. For example, we have more outdoor dining spaces that's covered and which will allow for us to have heated uh, dining spaces outside with fireplaces, maybe heat lamps, and then also that allow for cooling while we're eating outside during the summer months. Uh, and then lastly, we talked about using more cleaning, cleanable surfaces throughout the, the, the entire de uh, development. So sofas, chairs that you might find in hallways, near elevators, uh, in the dining room areas, there all of those areas are going to now all be much better cleanable surfaces and then also our flooring. Uh, so with different types of flooring that are easier to clean and do not collect dust, uh, make it for a better environment and a safer environment for residents. We have uh, self-service kiosks for our um, POS system, you know, really um, take it up a notch for us where residents can also do online ordering. The most important thing um, for for me is that, you know, um, committing back to the basics, you know, personal hygiene, making sure that, you know, the staff, you know, they're fully, um, you know, buy in to, to that. And then, you know, they committed to that. And then, you know, just making sure that, you know, um, people are well, you know, their well-being check is being made. So sometimes, you know, uh, when we were delivering everything up to their room, you know, it's a matter of just me going up and on each floor, door by door, knocking, you know, and, you know, asking them if they were okay, just checking on them and um, really made them feel like, you know, they were, um, you know, the support were there, that they were not alone. Because I think like a lot of places, a lot of people, you know, this uh, um, pandemic has really taken a mental toll on them and um, really, you know, um, were looking for just that connection. Right. That's great. Great. Sounds like you guys are really responding to the need. So, Eric, let me ask you, what is your talent strategy for workforce availability? Wow, <laughs> that, that's been a struggle. Um, I think that's a struggle throughout, you know, hospitality and throughout the country. We, we really have, and, and I travel all over the country to try to help train and, 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 and hire new teams. Uh, and what I've sound, found in every area is that we've had to kind of like what George says, go back to the basics. We we actually hired staff during COVID uh, to do very specific things, uh, meaning they came into COVID to work to do the takeout delivery, the room service that we we're providing during that time where where we had to actually cross train uh, our care team as well as our dining team to provide dining services to all the residents during the pandemic. Uh, and so with that regular new training, we found that a lot of our management staff uh, that had not worked in senior living before, they worked in hotels maybe, or regular restaurants, they were not prepared for what we do in senior living because it involves not just uh, providing takeout meals, which is, was very minimal for us before this, uh, we now have to do our special diets as we had to continue to do them. But now 
we're putting them back on plates to where it has to be appealing on a plate with garnishes and things of that nature. Uh, so our management and our regular line staff, they're struggling. However, I think the cross training is what we've had to do um, with our care team as well as with our, our dining staff. For me, you know, just being able to have that connection where you 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 interviewing somebody face to face, but you know, we were shelter in place and I had to do all my interviews for my team, you know, over Teams, you know, video conferencing. So I didn't really meet my team until July. When they talk about back to the basics, it's really just if the people that's within, if they're feeling appreciate they feel that they're appreciated, they're gonna ref- they're gonna they're gonna refer, you know, uh, their friends and their families. And then that's gonna be your core. You cross train them all over, make them feel like, you know what, these are the potential, these are the outcome. Based on, you know, what you produce and how you produce, this is what's gonna get you into the next step. Once people see that and they see that you're investing the time on them, then they're they're they're, they're most likely willing to willing to stay. That is great information. We're going to start wrapping this up, but I do want to last if you can give us both a a short overview, uh, Doris, of lessons learned and best practices um, that you're utilizing now. And then, Eric, I'll have you do the same. You know, it's really just, you know, being flexible. That's one one thing that I would say is is, is key. Um, I think for us, it really was about being prepared we as a as a corporate dining team we we kind of right off the bat got together and said okay what's going to happen next what do we need to do how can we help the communities uh nationwide to where um as as it hits in different parts of the country we're able to assist them so what we did was we we put together went ahead and put together the emergency menu uh, and then we thought, you know, we said we got it put together. We didn't want to bombard them with a lot of administrative stuff, so we took care of a lot of it for them. Uh, And then we shipped it out to everybody. And then from there, being prepared, also we stepped it in and and, and talked to the vendors. And we made sure that the vendors uh, were prepared themselves to service our communities as they started going through all the changes as well. The other part, kind of like what George talked about, the flexibility and but it really was about communication, mm-hmm. communication uh, amongst ourselves uh, as a company, but then also communicating mostly to our staff and then to our residents. What's going to happen? The change is going to happen. And here is what the change is going to be. If we anticipate change, uh, we will be better prepared to, to deal with the frustration of change. Uh, and so what we did was we let them know that this change was going to happen. So as George Doris talked about his menu changing three times throughout this whole process, we each time we had to make a change, something like that, or we had to close the dining room again. There was some kind of communication that went to the residents and to their families. Yeah. Uh, and so that everybody understood what was about to take place. Uh, and then we got their feedback uh, and we helped that helped us make the final decisions. All right. This has been a great source of information. I want to thank both of you for being with us today and providing us that insight. And we will talk to you guys later. All right. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Bye-bye.